Mars, I guarded the Celestial River with my boys, 80,000 strong. And the puny revenants dare to impede me. That grand transformation of mine was the only reason you're still standing here. A proper kneel to show gratitude would be appropriate, no? Fooled me once, never again. Deceptive tactics like this pose no threat. I'll go size them up first. Keep pace, boy. I thought you were one of them. Well, what happened to me? was infested with those stinking corpses. Some coffin carts blocked all the passes up, burning you.
Oh, help me! Help me, please! Things went south in the mountain and I barely escaped. But on my way down, Gwyth captured me. I've been kept here for three days. But now my luck has returned. My savior appeared here right in front of me. Should you extend your mercy to save my family? Uh, I'll repay your kindness at any cost! Master got it right. The last story goes out to us to help. eyes have seen prettier disguises. Uh, Yaogwai! Your true face! Out with it! If a single lie slips, my rake shall strike true! <laughs> that was so close. Thank you for saving me. I am the Bull King's daughter, Ping Ping. Oh, nonsense! The Bull has no daughter! Dare to fool me, scoundrel! <laughs> who you are my mother is princess fairfox you killed her 
After my mother died, I've been living with my father. His wife, Princess Rikshasi, took me in as her own. Later, brother came back from Bodhisattva Guan Yin, yeah. and we reunited. We had some peaceful days. My brother was kind to me and to our parents. But somehow, not long ago, he suddenly changed. He secretly summoned his old troops for a coup. Imprisoned father, kept mother under strict watch. I... I had nowhere else to turn. I had to go for help. But barely after leaving the place, his minions fell upon me. <laughs> the Bull King's might is known. Even together, Wukong and I couldn't rival him. Rakshasi's plantain fan is also formidable. And you want me to believe that they were subdued by a kid? Subdued by their son? Who else could make them put their guard down? Really, with soft hearts, they could never harm him. You idiot! This fox is fooling you! Look at this place! Only my brother's Samadhi fire could wreak such havoc! Oh no. My father is dying. Please, kind monkey, help me and my family! A perilous place this is. Keep this cicada safe with you. It'll come in handy. That's a voice I know well. I'll go ahead and take a look. No time to lose now! Follow me! This way! Did Master Pig whisper to you just now? I've let go of our blood feud, but he still holds so much hostility. My brother's minions are everywhere. Stay close to me, kind monkey. Brother and I used to play around there. The Valiant Six had their ways of amusing us. What fun we had together. I'll get through this hole, and you can pass by that crack ahead. She'd never give you the fan to be used against her precious son. Long, maybe he could talk mother into giving us the foul. I'll go find him. What? 
<laughs> Wanted monkey! Wanted star! <laughs> Wanted dead or alive! <laughs>
this cicada safe with you? You're coming handy. Not about your brother. beyond this plan. Mother, please, I am begging you. Father's life hangs on a thread. A thread which brother could cut short any moment. Since when did you start caring for that old bull? Do you not think you can hide your secret wish from me? You wish you could rule this mountain with your brother once we are finished. If you won't act, Mother, then I implore you to... to lend me your plant and fan to save Father. <sighs> Words from cunning foxes. You just want to trade my fan for a smile on your brother's face. I... I owe my life to Father. And to your kindness for taking me in. Brother was good to me, but I would never betray my parents for him. Say no more of the fan. We raised the boy. Guess this is what we deserve. But you... Why are you here at this very moment? Rakshasi, I'm not a part of your family, and I'm aware I have no voice in this. But Ping told me the destined one had arrived. <laughs> The destined one, who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old bastards must have pulled a muscle coming up with the name. You and I both know who he truly is. When the time comes, your children, your husband, and even this very palace could all turn to ashes. What do I have to fear from a mere pawn? He's no match for us. He can't even rival the power of my fan. Once the truth is revealed, suddenly he is here. Do you not find it odd? Such a twist of fate. The truth? The truth of what? Who are you talking about? I heard the Destined One had obtained all the other relics. Rakshasi, your situation is grave. Do you not see? Who mandated his return? Were those relics really bestowed for your good? Perhaps amid these schemes and plots, we've unwittingly become stepping stones for his rebirth. For others, I care not. All along, you are all I care for. I say we should leave together. I vow to treasure you dearly. Just like when we're up there. I never thought that one day you'd be the only one I can rely on. I am overwhelmed. Come, sit with me and tell me what to do. Don't let him, Mother! Don't you see? He is taking advantage of you! You lecher! I call for your help, not your treachery! How, how dare you! A child of a concubine should know better manners. When I first crossed paths with her, your bull of a father was no more than livestock munching on a patch of grass. Have you no shame? Mother, don't be fooled! Enough of your endless prattle. <laughs> No, that's better. Rakshasi, have we not been this close since our time in Tushita Palace? Well, yes, I do miss the old days too. We were so happy back then. What in the blazes? No, no tricks, tricks here. here. It's, it's just, just my, my hoof. hoof. You deserve to know before we kiss. You will live to repent this! Filthy lowlife! 
You dare take her form and beguile me? My old friend, wasn't it fun? Have we not been this close since our carnage in the fox den? <laughs> you abhorrent fraud! My candid words were wasted on your foul ears! Candid, my hoof! Your revenants are everywhere! I thought you'd have better lies! Quick on your heels, huh? Well then, boy, let us teach this brazen adulterer a lesson. Vile beast! Your savagery knows no cure! But you will behave once my sourceless water from Toshita drops. your journey once. Now I shall aid you again on your way to death. From yin and yang arises two sides. From land and sky emerges the divide. Now you shall be feasted upon by my yin yang fish. What a stingy host! Such a meager fish. Hardly enough for a platter. been revealed. Disasters are sure to follow. The turmoil you witness is but a ripple caused by a drop from above. <laughs> Bad news after a good nap. <laughs> He's gone too far from a furnished servant. A decent lad he was. <sighs> decent until ruined by brother Wukong. Then destiny carried him further to fall for the wrong woman. 
<sighs> you, go up this way. Check if any way leads up. I'll go look around. The owner might be gone, but her treasure might still be there.
Mother left her fan before she went away. She must have felt torn between her son and husband. But this iron ball, it just won't stop. Now that you are here, help me drive it away, and I'll let the fan do its work. Hey, Fox, how can you be sure it's even real? Rest assured, Mother taught me this spell. Only the real fan will answer it. The bull sounds weak, probably on his last legs. Guess I have to trust you once. I'll get down there and stop the ball and let you do your work. Skin will protect him. Come on, let's save Father first. <laughs> Father, I brought him here. It's the destined one. Brother is not around. You can hand it over to him now. Brother will surely give up on his plan once it's returned. And then, we will be a family again. You mischievous mother. You dare to push your luck, but always have a way out. Are you not thinking straight, Father? I brought the Destined One here to save you! I may be unwell, but I am not blind. You are not blind yet. How can you say that to me? I went through flames to find the Destined One for you. For you, Father, don't you see? Oh, 
find out if it's true after I hunt her down. But first, I should burn you two together and mix your ashes to honor your friendship. Entertainment. That can wait. Death talisman. Poor Keeper. Seems his legacy was his only offer after all.
No wonder not a single raindrop was fanned. It was your trick the whole time. <gasps> My bad, old bull. I was a bit delayed. You little rascal. I'll teach you a lesson on your parents' behalf. Still holding on, despite it all. Does your vengeance weigh more than your family? Spit it out now, his relic! My king, I'm sorry for my weakness. I turned to them, but none offered help. My lady, forget it. I implore you to show mercy and spare my son. He is the last of the Yaksha's bloodline in the West. With an origin most tragic and twisted. Now, he poses a threat no more. Should you grant him mercy, I, Rakshasi, and the Balking shall retreat ourselves to secluded meditation. Along with our children, we will never leave the mountain again. He is our son. We will bear his punishment. If it pleases you, my plant in fan is also yours to take. Flames have paved my way. Through flames, I shan't stray. Vain was my flame for revenge destined to stray. in our submission, kneeling and begging. You've atoned through deeds, Black Bear. Take this pair of eyes. You've served the righteous cause, Yellow Rat. These ears are yours. Your power has gathered in you, Yellow Rat. Keep this nose. You've endured hardships under the eye. Go with the town. 
And the bull, it is the hardest to turn against a sworn brother. You can have his body. Your reluctance is plain, just like my own. They forced me to drink from the river of childbearing, to bear that boy in my womb. If not for that monkey, we could have lived our separate lives in peace. As if none of this had happened. You're cute. You knew who I was from the start. Why do you choose to be their lapdog? I never wanted to sever our ties. If kinship means anything to you, give me that relic. And let me avenge my people. My king! Let the monkey have my fan! There will be no trouble! <gasps> Your brother, I've disciplined. Your boy, I've given away. Your wife's fan. Today, I'll take it with me too. Find a master. And serve the right. It's the only path left for the likes of us. Don't you understand, brother? <laughs> Wukong! I took out the bull's concubine with a whack of my rake, too! <laughs> Turned out, oh, she was a fox squire! <laughs>
I saw it uh, with enough merit and a position before the Buddha. They would leave me be, and all of you as well. Uh, now I see. For someone like me, staying alive is enough to be a transgression. <laughs> uh, brother, take care of your wife and children. And remember, steer clear of my remains. 